All right. All right, well, we got day five of Sarah. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> we didn't get too far, Teresa. I think since the last time you were on, we finally got to Sarah day four last week. Okay. Um, I think you were here for day three. And so we did day four last week. And now today's the last day of Sarah. And then I, what did I say? We were in Miriam after Sarah? I think so. I think so, mm -hmm. too. Yes. Who? Miriam. Miriam. Yeah. It is Miriam. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This book has so many. Right. And then Rahab. Right. Yeah. Miriam. Okay. So day five before we get to that. Um, so we've got oh. Teresa on the prayer list. And anyone else? Mm. Just keep mm -hmm. my family in prayer. Nothing specific, just keep them in prayer. Mm -hmm. um, our sick and shut in. I'm trying to think who has Michelle's mom. Oh, she disappeared. I was going to say, <laughs> How's her mom doing? I think she's coming to California. In the next well, week. At least by September. Soon as her lease is up, yeah. So mm -hmm. sometime in the fall. That'll be nice. I have you know they were talking about me. I don't know if you were in there and they were saying, and we kept saying, Yeah, you could go on vacation, you know, we'll be here for you. <laughs> and I, it was either uh, Michelle or Harriet said, uh, well, her mom's gonna say, Yeah, well, you better get another backup for Alicia. <laughs> 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 I won't be able to call her. <laughs> it's so hard to get her. <laughs> oh my goodness. I kept saying, that's a shame. This lady's in Florida. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Already know me, you know that's bad. Oh my goodness. Getting to be internationally known. Exactly. I know it. That's kind of scary. Yeah, <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Teresa, you in BSF, right? Yes. I could I believe we're almost done, but how how did you like the last lessons? Um, uh, they were kind of rough, but yeah, they were yeah. they're very good. Oh, yeah, it really was. I never really studied lamentations in Habakkuk. So it was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so it well, was really good. Yeah, I can't believe that the year is almost over either. Yeah. Uh, we just Two started, more weeks. Yeah. 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 That's good. I mean, that's the one thing I enjoy about it is it gets you in deep and in the books that you don't normally go to. So Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I like the fact that you have the summer to recuperate. <laughs> you need it yeah yes yes because the the study is intense i figure you're talking about bsf yeah mm -hmm. it's yeah. very intense yeah it's intense you are really it's almost like doing uh coursework in theology you know mm -hmm. but it but it's it's very meaningful very helpful but in the like notes are diving. excellent yeah, yeah. The notes are just really good yeah Awesome. All right, who's got scripture and who's got prayer? Mm -mm. And I don't have neither one of them. I think Michelle <laughs> has prayer. You need to stop. <laughs> I, hear, I hear Michelle saying, I'm going to pray today. <laughs> oh, is that what you hear? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh Lord. Oh. oh. Well, whatever. Oh girl, I can't even read my my Bible. So I can't I can't say scripture because I, I don't have yes, my you, do. <laughs> you don't have the glasses. <laughs> no. So who has scripture? So it's between Teresa and Michelle. Who's got what? I'll I'll take the scripture. Okay. Okay. That works because my Bible opens straight up to limitation. 
Just right. read Lamentations for him. <laughs> right. All right. So let's uh let's go to Psalm 24. All right. And um okay, I I'm I don't know how much of it I'm going to read, but I'm gonna start out. Uh Psalm 24. I'm reading in, I believe it's the it's either the New King James because I've opened up Tim's Bible. All right. The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive blessing from the Lord and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, lift up you everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is mm -hmm. the king of glory. Amen. 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 <sighs> Our Heavenly Father, we come to you this evening just so thankful, Lord, that we're able to come together in fellowship and study your word. Yeah. We're so thankful for the lessons that we have received and we've gone through before. And we just ask you to, you know, continue to enlighten us and show us what you want us to do and how you want, how you will direct us as we go forward. We want to pray for the families that are part of our, you know, our class. We want to pray for each one of the ones that are here. We want to pray for Sister Harriet, who's unable to make it at this time, and that you, you know, keep her strong as she goes forth. We want to pay, pray for Sister Teresa and, you know, at her loss, and Lord, that you will just, you know, help her through this time. And, you know, keep her strong. We know it's not an easy thing to go through when there's someone that you lose and as part of your family so we just ask you to help her and lift her up as she goes through this we also want to continue to pray for michelle and her mom in that you will you know direct michelle into what she needs to do yes. in order to prepare for her mom's coming yeah. and we just want to you know help you know help us in any way that we can to be an encourager and help her do whatever she needs to do and lord we want to continue to pray for you know not only you know her but our church family our heavenly father we we're so thankful that the weather's getting better and more people are coming out to church so we just yes. want to ask you to not only have them come out lord but have them step up and do what you want them to do thank you Lord, and also we want to pray for our pastor and all the associate pastors that you will keep them strong and keep them directed in, in your word and the way you have to go. We also want to pray for the praise team. We want to thank Sister Michelle for stepping up and being that light in order to, you know, keep us going and give us that energy that we need before we start our service. So we're so thankful that you she felt the need to go ahead and do that. So we're thankful for that. And Lord, we just want to pray for all our sick and our shut in. And there's so many of them that, you know, we, at this point, we can't name them all. But Lord, you know who they are. We just ask you to be with them as they go forth. All these things we ask in our son's name is for his sake to pray. Amen. 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 Yes. Man, this dog. <laughs> <laughs> just just a minute, I'm gonna mute for a minute. <laughs>
I've been there. They're like children. You love them, but sometimes they get <laughs> into stuff. <laughs> they do. No, they do. All right. So really, it's all just kind of review and mm -hmm. questions and stuff to discuss. So I'm guessing it'll go pretty, pretty quickly. Um, if someone, when we get there, I didn't put it in, but 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. So when I get to that part, um, if someone could read 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. Mm -hmm. All right. So it says, if we are wise, we will learn from the lessons of Sarah. Boy, there was a lot to learn from Sarah, wasn't there? <laughs> <laughs> Very relatable. Faith is a journey, a pursuit. It is not something for all at once. It is a process of growth. In Sarah, we see the reality that it is an imperfect pursuit. But we also see that God's grace is sufficient even for our mistakes. See 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. Okay. And he said, you want... Second Corinthians 12 and nine right now. Mm -hmm. And he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will gather rather, excuse me, rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Oh. My grace is sufficient. Mm -hmm. That it is. As we look at Sarah's journey of faith, we see much of ourselves. What makes her faith more amazing is that she did not have the benefit of the word of God as we do now. Today, we want to look at how we can apply the lessons from Sarah's life to our own faith. Um, one of the things we saw this week was that for Sarah, faithfulness to God meant being faithful to Abraham. She had been placed in relationship to him and was accountable. Each life has accountable relationships, and some of those relationships are to those God has placed in authority over us. Our obedience to those in authority is important to God. Mm. This does not mean that we cannot point out when we think authority is wrong, but regardless, we are accountable to the authorities in our lives. When we try to determine if we think authority is right before we are willing to obey, we have placed ourselves as judge and we are wrong. Are there any authorities in your life that you are not submissive to? <laughs> Ooh, there's a question. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Well, <laughs> I can say I have to check myself often. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have, I, uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank God for grace and mercy because there yeah. are times when I do have to, um, you know. Ask for wisdom and guidance because me, myself, are not there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I'd have to say that I tried to do that. Come, let us reason together. You know, like I probably am not mm -hmm. one to just do blind submission unless it's like to the law, you know, of the land. And even then I'm probably fudging a bit. But, you know, it's like if I if I'm in agreement, then yes, I will. But if I'm like, can we can we talk this out? Can we see, you know, are you are you thinking this or are you saying it has to be that? And I want to have a conversation about it. So I know I'm not the kind of person that's just going to say, oh, you said that. So, OK, all right. I, that's it. I'll just be doing it. No, if I have another difference, I'm going to try to, you know, have a conversation and see if we can come to terms. Mm -hmm. 
if I'm honest about it. Yeah. You know, I think for me, any authorities in your life that you are not submissive to, I think I ha I'm so blessed where I work now because sometimes a lot of times when you think of authority, you think of, of workplace. That's not the only place you have authorities, but, um, you know, as far as that you know it's it's um a situation where you know we have pastor and of course um you know i don't know it's hard to say i can't nothing mm -hmm. really comes to mind when i think of that you know and pastor and the board and the ministers and that it's it's not really a situation where you have to be like completely submissive. There's a way mm -hmm. things work and a way things need to be, and they're mm -hmm. not overpowering. They're not, um, you know, they don't micromanage. They don't, you know, thankfully I'm not in that position anymore like mm -hmm. I was when I was working outside of, you know. Yeah, but I think like that. like Teresa said, definitely certain certain things I I I do have to check myself too because you know immediately it's like oh oh you know you get that mm -hmm. uh, you know even um I'm just I'm trying to think of of authorities in my life like who outside of God I think for me like you know you 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 have to love people you necessarily I don't necessarily like everybody but you do have to love them and in a certain way um I guess we could define authorities is that and you're talking about people that are over you. I guess, but it really who? I don't Well, I was talking in terms of see I, I'm a married woman and so I I was initially thinking <laughs> in terms <laughs> Of, of that, you know. Well, I'm and laughing because sense. I've heard yeah. you go off on Tim and it just cracks me up. <laughs> oh, well, some of that is just comical. Oh, you know, I know. That's, that's no, him I and know. I being. I know, I know. You guys, you, <laughs> I just funny. love the two of you. But in reality, it is such, you know, yeah. we're close in age. I do, <laughs> I do respect his decision making, but I feel we have, you know, I'm not married to one of those kind of men that say, is my way or the highway. You the woman, you're going to have to do what I say. Because, you know, then it probably would be very bad, you know. Uh, <laughs> but, um, but, you know, we... Where's Tim? Huh? Is he listening? <laughs> oh, no, he's out. He's out recreating. He's up there playing golf. So he's not, he's not uh, listening. I'm home yeah. alone, so to speak. But I do, I feel blessed that I yeah. can, if I do have something that I want to discuss or say... I have another take on this. I, he, we're willing to work, you know, have a conversation oh, yeah. about it and work it through. And then if it comes down, I, there's been times where I said, okay, then it's 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 the way you said. <laughs> hope, it, hope for your sake. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah, that's a tough one for me. Anyone else? Yeah. No. I'm remembering back like I went to some bad bosses that I had, you know, and my and my mom, she was very kind of more like tyrant, not, you know. But that obedience and that was out of fear. Mm. And so um I just had no respect for her. You know, it was hard to, she had no respect for, for me, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm trying to go back and really those, that question would have been a whole lot easier to answer 20 years ago, you know? 
I mm -hmm. think we have more authority over us in our youth than we do, you know, the wiser we get, we're, we're, you know, we have to answer to a lot less people. And I have to say, I love that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am okay with that because <laughs> yeah. like I was I never good a, at it. Yeah. yeah, not like I have a husband or a job person. Exactly over me. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and I I like that. Sorry, God does not want our help. He wants our obedience. Sarah made a mistake when she tried to help out God with a worldly plan. Can you think of a time you tried to help out God with your own plan instead of seeking him for his plan? What were the consequences? Ooh, all bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could, all I could, bad. By the, time, by the time I hit rock bottom, I couldn't do nothing but totally depend on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, there is no... I think if that's one of the bigger lessons that I've learned. There is no help in God. He does not need my help. Mm -hmm. he does need is that statement earlier, my obedience to seek him, mm -hmm. to listen, to be patient. Because uh, every time I've tried to help out a situation, <laughs> bad news. Mm. Real bad news. But I thank God for his grace and mercy that he turns it around and still works it for what yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah but i have learned some really wonderful lessons, yeah, lessons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nicely put mm -hmm. nicely put <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. well, i try to share them when i'm given the opportunity when i see somebody headed for that wall i'll be like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> i'll talk to you for just a second please yeah <laughs> Yeah, like, I honey, can try I to help that you well. Maybe you'll listen like I didn't, okay? Mm -hmm. I think one of the toughest lessons without getting specific is when I might have felt, or not might, that I felt I was helping God, but the effect was a bad effect for me, but it was a worse effect for somebody else. And mm -hmm. you don't know yeah. the guilt feeling that you feel. Yes when mm -hmm. it, it 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 causes somebody else a pain because yes. you yeah i i have mm -hmm. dealt with i've dealt with that and that's yeah that hurts yeah mm -hmm. that's true yeah you know the only thing you can do is just ask god yeah to forgive you and pray yeah. that it doesn't yeah. have long consequences on those people right Yes. Yeah, you know, like the Bible say, you know, woe to those who cause, you know, their brother or sister to sin. Yeah. You know, to to fall. So, yeah. But when we recognize it and we come back and confess it, then God will yeah. forgive us. And um, yeah. we humbly confess. You know, I just, I just think about... Um, how often he just he just helps us up out our own messes all the time you know he just mm -hmm. and he wants us to do is just to listen to him be obedient repent mm -hmm. when we're you know change your ways and it sounds i mean talking about it it sounds so simple to simple. do it again you know it's it's like the world today we talk about chaos and stuff. And I'll often think about this book that I read many, many years ago, said everything I needed to know I learned in kindergarten. Kindergarten. <laughs> I had yeah. that book. That's right. Yeah, yeah you learn in kindergarten how to say please, thank you, to share, mm -hmm. to you know, work as a group, a team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Lord. <laughs> That's a yes. great book. Still mm -hmm. a great book. It's still mm -hmm. relevant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I haven't thought about that book in a while, but you're right. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to have to read it because I think I was teaching kindergarten when I <laughs> with that book. No, I don't need that. I live it. <laughs> right? It's a, it's a quick read, but it's yeah. really good. Yeah. It's, a, it's a pretty quick read, but it's a really great book. 
It is. I think about that often when I just look at life could be so easy if we would just mm -hmm. everybody didn't need to dot their own I and cross their own T to say the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Point. Mm -hmm. You're right. Yeah. Well, there's always consequence when we don't listen to God. And yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. By, yeah he's like oh look okay. through the bible you see him oh yeah right mm -hmm. absolutely and that when that one decision for sarah and abraham it was like a domino effect with everything else you know because then mm -hmm. uh hagar came back with ishmael and then after a while it was like oh you know i can't stand to see them any more than the whole animosity and all that kind of mm -hmm. you know so that one decision will unleash a whole domino effect of them and god's like okay are, are we done with your way now can we <laughs> you ready to listen and obey yes and it shows you how one mistake you know mm -hmm. can have really great consequences you look at adam and eve what happened and you look at you know sarah and ishmael and you look at the middle east and what's ha happening there so all these yeah. things have consequences that that we that we do we don't think that they do but you know but even within our family, you know, I have to, you know, really pray. Yeah. And um, like, you know, like I tell my kids, you know, like my dad was an alcoholic and I kept saying, you know what, you guys cannot drink like normal people, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, That's so is, true. you know, I say it's in, you know, it's in your blood that you have that tendency to, so, you know, you have to be really careful. So, mm -hmm. and when they say your the sins of the parents can be visit to next generation, if you're not careful, I can understand that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. When a child did not come in Sarah's timing, she began to doubt the promise of God. God kept Sarah waiting until a child was humanly impossible. At that point, Sarah struggled with the challenge of believing God or believing her circumstances. Have you been there? Are there any situations in your life right now where your circumstances seem to be saying one thing, though God's word says another? I have been there. I mean not necessarily thank you jesus not asking for anything right now but mm -hmm. um i think the lesson um for me is that uh like with sarah it's like when you're waiting for something and it seems like it's not gonna happen and then your mind starts wondering on, oh, well, maybe mm -hmm. if I do this, or maybe if I do that, or I could do this, or whatever, um, not realizing that that patience piece is huge, um, mm -hmm. you know, because God's timing is not our timing, and, you know, the human part of me in certain circumstances, like Sarah has made some some um, bad choices because instead of me just keeping my eye focused on what God had told me, I just figured that maybe I could help him along a little bit. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's like you... You're not sure whether God is is pushing you to do so. Sometimes it's you're stumbling, you know, and and um, you don't regard it that you're jumping ahead of God or you do, but you're thinking, oh, okay, I'm supposed to move in this direction. You know, if you do nothing, sometimes how do you expect for God to do anything when you're not, you know, you're just not <laughs> stepping out there. So sometimes I don't think. Um, it's all the time where we are 
are saying, well, I, I'm going to, I'm going to do this because this is going to, this is going to help. But you're thinking, okay, God, this is, this is how, where, how you want me to move. Is this the next step you want me to make? Sometimes it is. And sometimes it isn't. And like you said, Teresa, thank goodness that the Lord helped, you know, if earnestly and your motive was right, th that you really was trying maybe to, to move how you think that God was causing you to move and he'll cut, you know, he'll cover that mistake for you, you know? Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I know sometimes I've been guilty of, I thought I was supposed to go in that way, you know, that way that that was the next move I was supposed to make, you know, but so it's all the time, not that easy and clear, you know, mm -hmm. but God knows our heart. He knows our heart. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yeah, that's for sure. I remember being very miserable before Paul and I had gotten married and I just, you know, was praying like, what do I do? Because I, you know, it was so, we, it was so tumultuous at times and, but, you know, we had the school and I was very, uh, you know, connected and close and attached to the families and the students and what I did. And I, I, my passion was really that, you know, all of that in the school. And I loved what I did. And, you know, but the relationship between us was so volatile. And, um, you know, I, I clearly heard God's voice and I said, you know, what do I do? I don't know what to do. And all I heard was walk away. And I was like, and I got scared because I'm like, wait a minute, maybe I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> that was, <laughs> that was what I didn't want. want to do. But God said, walk away. And I did not trust him. And I was very new in my faith. And and I said, I'm not ready. I, I had the nerve to say no, Lord, you know, instead of yes, Lord. And I'm like, I, I'm not ready. And it's like I was determined to make this work. Like, no, I think, you know, something, you know, this here and yeah. In the next few years, and not only did I go against that word, I'm like, no, I'm going to make it work. And two years later, I married him, you know, I'm like, oh, my goodness. And things just got very, very, very bad. Me thinking I can do this. This is going to work. But I didn't want number one, I didn't want to walk away from what I was doing. But number two, I didn't want another failed relationship and marriage. And it was like, you know, there's, there's gotta be a way, you know, we have God, but you know, when you're with someone who he was one that claimed to be a believer, but didn't practice any of it, you know, and didn't, he really wasn't, but he just, he's, you know, so for a believer to be with a non-believer, it's, it's a really hard situation to be in. And so here I am, seeking God and asking him and then not liking the answer that I'm hearing, you know, I'm thinking, wait a minute, I didn't think you were going to go there. That escalated quickly, you know, so I went against exactly. And boy, I'll tell you something. I, I thought back on that often. And when I finally did have the courage to leave and things went the way they did, you know, I could just hear God saying like, didn't I tell you four years ago, walk away. Didn't I say that? Did I say that? And what did you say? <laughs> I was like, oh my God. But that, you know, after making that decision and me thinking I'm, I don't know, I don't think I, I really thought of it as helping God, but I definitely didn't trust him enough and I did not obey him. And I did not, um, I did not do the right thing. And I made a very selfish decision um, and I, oh boy, I paid for it. There was consequences. Woo. There was consequences. So, you know, that's, that comes to mind, but we do, I think in relationships, mostly, you know, I know for me, you make decisions based on your emotions and emotions aren't a place to make decisions in, you know? But we do. Did we lose Michelle? Where'd she go? 
She stepped out for a minute. <laughs> All right. Sarah's life shows us that past faith is no guarantee of future victory. Every day we must trust God and we cannot face the challenges of today on yesterday's faith. Ooh, that's true. Have you been surprised to discover that your old way of doing things is still around? <laughs> Are there some examples in your own life of old failures creeping up again? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord. This is, oh, my God. We, I, we went to Sunday and um, this is just, it might even be a bunny trail. We're good service, everything. We come out and... This this guy cut me off on the road. The <laughs> 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 first thing out of my mouth was, you jerk. He looked at me and he's, oh, we went from Jesus to jerk. <laughs> we sure did. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I've done a lot of that. Teresa, I do the same thing. I oh, I've done work. A lot Here I am praising God. I'm at the church. I leave. I'm no sooner down the street. And I'm like, oh, come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it just Sorry, goes Lord. to show you. It's like <laughs> the old way just popped up real quick. It's like, are you kidding me right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it just cracked me up. He's like, oh, we just went from Jesus, Jesus to jerk. I was like, yeah. okay. <laughs> Jesus Check. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. You just been checked, little lady. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> You're so right. Oh my. Oh. So they do creep up again. That was my example mm -hmm. of something creeping up. It just but as soon as you read that, I was like, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What was oh, it? I just thanking God that nothing happened. And yeah. I usually do pray for the person that's driving, get everybody that's on the road, but no. <laughs> like, oh, really, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> driving will do that to you, huh? Yeah. God has heard conversations that I've had. <laughs> about the driving going on oh yeah <laughs> and those ones that sit at the green light so long and then they're like you know you're beeping and then they finally go and make you miss the light you're like oh, <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah and don't be in a hurry because you, your appointment is like in five minutes. That's right. <laughs> right. <laughs> should have been that I should have left the house sooner, but you know, everybody get off the road because I, right. yeah, I am. <laughs> yes. Don't you know I came unprepared today, people? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's oh. funny. And sometimes, I, you know, honestly, my daughter will bring that. I, I allow her to bring that out in me because she'll hit a button and it's like, oh, mm. mm -hmm. you know, and it. I have to stop myself. And I'm, every mm -hmm. once in a while, I don't stop myself. And then, you know, <laughs> things yep. escalate. But then I mm -hmm. have to be my the son. one, you know. Mm -hmm too and there is you know it, it does happen at work occasionally it's not like mm -hmm. everything's perfect there but you know sometimes there'll be someone around that will trigger oh. something and it's like oh you really you really had just because you're there doesn't it doesn't make any difference you are you no matter where you are and so when something happens you know sometimes your first instinct will go to Mm -hmm. and it's like oh hang on where am i <laughs> yeah. well you know too mm -hmm. as as we as we grow and get closer get, i mean the holy spirit will check you like right now oh quick right out mm -hmm. your mouth yeah. quick as you did it mm -hmm. whatever uh that's when, true when that holy spirit will get on you because i have my tone uh i've been sharp with people where and then i'm like oh my god i'm so sorry but cut the Holy Spirit check you just like that. Like, what is that? Yeah, yeah, true. You know, and, uh, I, and I do know that. I mean, and I thank God for the Holy Spirit doing that because it, I, don't, I don't know what branch of the Holy Spirit is assigned to me, but that's a big secret. <laughs> 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 thank you, Lord. 
they are busy. <laughs> you say he's busy working overtime. That's right. Oh, I know. Certain settle down, things. lady. Settle down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. You're so right. And I do. I just have to learn. I'm like, okay, there's other people around. They'll take care of it. You just sit down. Don't do it. Don't lose it, you know. And it's uh, what do you do? You call you can do is trust God. Mm -hmm. All right. Remember that it is God who must work through us if faith is to be realized. When we fail, we must confess our, our failure to trust him and we must yield ourselves afresh to his will and way. Spend some oh, Okay, I'll uh, I will read that. Oh, I'll just include that prayer with my closing prayer, but um, it is God who must work through us if faith is to be realized. And that's true, you know, and I think as I've gotten older and, and stronger in my relationship with God, that I realize that, you know, it's th when that pride starts to dissipate, you know, it's easier to confess your failures because you, you, you learn from them. And I think when I was younger, it was more, you know, you don't want to admit failures because, um, you know, you have that pride and you don't, you don't want to admit that you made a mistake, but it's, I'm glad that I'm over that because I've been able to once that pride is, is gone and you, you know, you start to admit and take accountability and all of that, it, you learn so much and you grow so much and you allow other people to see that. And, and, you know, they start to become okay with, with confessing their failures, you know, that it's, it's not so bad and, and that, you know, it's, you don't have to be ashamed and I think for me, like making a mistake, how I grew up, when you made a mistake, you were shamed and you were, you know, or ridiculed or whatever, you got in big trouble. So growing up, when I did fail, it was a very big deal for me. And so I didn't, you know, it was very hard for me to confess that I failed at anything. I would try to hide it at all costs, <laughs> you know, but now it's completely different. And I do trust God to help me with that. And, and we do learn and grow through our failures. You know, they're, they're not fun. I don't like to fail, but um, I always try to learn from it and, you know, trust God through it, like, Okay, I messed this up. Lord, help me. What do I do now? <clears throat> so. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Anyone else? New? Sarah was great. I loved going through that one. Yeah. Like you think you know, but then you start to go through the the lesson, and it was like, okay, wow, reveal. she's pretty relatable. Yeah, mm -hmm. more reveal. I think we're gonna find the deep with these women. There's going to be facets about them that mm -hmm. is deeper than what we've known when we've you know just read about them in the Bible. We're because we're delving into a lot of their issues deeper. Right. Mm -hmm. So. I know there's some where I can't wait to, you know, get to them. Deborah's another one. She was a judge, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was some yeah. toughies yeah. there. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to all of them, but I know for that, I always wanted to know more about Deborah. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a good one. Yeah. But so next week we start Miriam. Next week we start Miriam. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's gonna be a good one. Yeah. Okay. Appreciated this. All right. Well, I'll just say a quick prayer. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna add this into into uh today's prayer. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. It's it's nice. They put a little yep, little prayer at the end of these, like the other book did. So <sighs> all right, gracious heavenly father, Lord, we just thank you once again. 
We thank you for just loving us in spite of us. We thank you for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way and allowing us to see another day that was not promised to us, Lord. And, and we're just right back here sharing your word. And Lord, I just want to thank you for all of us that were able to be here tonight and all of the families that are represented here. And for those that weren't able to be there, Lord, we lift them up to you and those that, that will be watching later, Lord, and that we just ask that you bless them and their families and that we just pray that they they find something in this lesson that, that just touches them, Lord. And we just ask that you work through all of us in them in a mighty way. Lord, we ask forgiveness of our sins, both known and unknown, and we continue to thank you for your grace and your mercy and your loving kindness. And we ask for your help to, to help us to be able to forgive those that we hold grudges against or that have trespassed mm -hmm. against us. And when someone triggers that old, old us, Lord, you know, um, and that we just remember to uh, stop, drop and pray, as pastor says. So Lord, we just... We thank you for that, that wisdom as, as we grow with you and in your word, Lord, that we just, that you convict us, you know, right away. And so we just thank you, Lord. And we just ask for, for you to help us with all of that. We thank you for this lesson, Lord and Sarah. And we just, we learned so much um, and we were able to relate so much to the things that she went through. And yes, she had a great faith, but she also stumbled her way on through. And, and, you know, we, we can relate to that because, you know, at times we do the same. And so Lord, we just mm -hmm. thank you for this lesson coming up in Miriam and all that, uh, you're going to have us to learn as your word always continues to be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And Lord, we just want to, uh, continue to lift up Teresa during this time, Lord. And we just, we know we've all been there and, and the loss of a pet is just, it's devastating, Lord. And we just thank you for the time that we get to spend with them. But that goodbye is, is just so tough. So we just ask that you wrap her in your hedge of protection and light and give Please, her God. hurt and, and protection and, and encouragement and, and just love that she needs right now, Lord, because it's it's such a process to go through. And anyone that's that's grieving, Lord, you know, that loss of a family member or a, a pet or anyone, loss is hard. And it takes what it takes to go through it. And, and grief is our own road. And so we're just so grateful that you're with us during that, Lord. And so mm -hmm. in closing, I just want to read this prayer that they have in the book. Lord, I want you to know you have called me out unto that purpose. Yet so many times I stumble along the way. I struggle with trusting you in your promises. I take life into my own hands and try to help you out with my striving. <laughs> when I fail, it makes it harder for me to trust you. I laugh in unbelief. Lord, help me to take you at your word to believe that you will do all that you say. We pray all of this and all of the prayer requests, Lord, that we yes. mention. And all of those out there that we don't know of, we lift all of these prayers up to you in the strong and mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And thank God. God, amen. Oh, amen. who do we have here? Oh, she's sleep. Oh. <laughs> oh, little baby. Oh, yeah. So cute. She is. She I look sleep. up and all of a sudden. You know, like I know. I didn't even like see her getting your arm first. She she been waiting. She gets up with me in the morning early, so oh. take a nap. And we've been outside working in the yard. So yeah, it was warm. Both. That'll make you tired too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, she's gonna be five this year. Wow! Mm -hmm. oh, she starts school wow. in August. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. What an angel. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those cuddles. So how's Larry doing? Grandma cuddles. He's doing good. Um, I talked to him. Uh, actually, I talked to him day today. Um, his his numbers are still good and everything. Oh, good. Oh, thank God. He's in good God. spirit. He's um working on his weight. He's lost weight and um uh, everything. So he's. That's good. Thank God, I'm telling you, because I, I get beans about where we were just a year ago. Yes. That's yes. right. That's right. Yeah, so 
Yeah, we're very thankful. Wow. Thank that you. That is so good. Praise that is Lord. definitely a testimony. I'm telling you. Girl, right. That's what I'm telling you. I can't, I can't stop. Even if I want to try to stop, I can't stop. Because mm -hmm. I, I actually have two of them walking around here. So, Woo. yeah, I have no doubts, even with me being a little Willy Wonker. So. <laughs> <laughs> God has blessed me and showed me his time and time again so i'm very grateful and humbled mm -hmm. yeah. you have definitely been a prayer warrior for your kids right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. definitely been there for them mm -hmm. grands and great grands <laughs> thing is real <laughs> right <laughs> absolutely well it was wonderful talking to you guys i'm gonna go eat uh michelle would you have go to eat yeah <laughs> yeah all right all right okay. ladies we'll have a good rest good of the week you, you too. guys enjoy okay bye-bye bye-bye